Hey. Is this the eye? Uh oh. Can you hear me? All right. Usually, I get a little sound meter going, but it's not showing any signal today. I don't know why. Hey, Pippi Pop. Hey, Mark. Hey, Bryce. How's everybody doing tonight? Tonight has got to be a very short one. Um, I have I, I'm, I have a deadline tonight that I need to get it done. So I'm going to try to get out of here by about 7.30. Hey, Alex. Just to be sure, you guys can hear me, right? Okay. Sweet. So tonight I'm I have a commission that I'm working on that is uh, a Scooby Doo commission. The whole thing looks like this. And I'm doing it on my iPad in Clip Studio and yeah, the here I'll show you my steps so far in penciling. This is usually how I pencil my stuff nowadays is in Clip Studio. Um, it's just so much e easier to <clears throat> adjust compositions and stuff digitally than it is um, on paper. But so I started off here. Like here's my initial sketch. that I got, and then tighten that. Oh, and then I tried uh, doing a 3D thing in Clip Studio. I'd never done this before, or at least I've rarely done it, and it didn't help. It was a waste of time, it took forever. And then I got this sort of tightened up sketch a little bit better. Hey, Alex. And then tightened it up a little bit more. And I think that's where I'm at. Yeah. So I need to clean this up a little bit because I can't. The plan is then I'll, I'll print this and be able to ink and paint over the top of it. But it needs a little bit of work. Um, but it needs to be much cleaner for that print to work. So I have a new layer right up here. Got my favorite pencil loaded up. The Oh, right here, my design pencil. And now I am going to see if I can't get Fred to look more like Fred.
Sorry, I'm just on my phone looking up model sheets for Fred. It doesn't quite look right to me. Like, here's a model sheet for Fred, and there's my Fred. I think I got his forehead too big and his chin too small. Like, I kind of think. That kind of did it, actually. It's got a pretty round jaw, though. I'm not trying to make it exactly on model, because I want it to look like something that I drew, but um, still. Hey, Rudek, how's it going? Oh, nice, Bryce. I, I missed your thing um, that you picked up, uh, Colonel Word Cosmagog. I'm really proud of that book. I think it turned out great. I uh, That's one of those books where I felt like I kind of leveled up on it. I figured out some new tricks that um, are still helping me out. <laughs> hey, Pippi, that's an amazing coincidence that you used Daphne in a story today. It's a good choice. Uh, Farmer's Market illustration sounds kind of fun. So I got the wrong pencil. Oh, nice. Good call, Rudak. Getting books at your library is just about my favorite way that anybody could read my work.
Oh, nice. Mark, you're picking up uh, Colonel Weird and Little Andromeda. I only did one page in that, but it was a heck of a page. Rearranged my brushes on here a little bit, and I did not think it would screw me up as much as it has been. So this is what I like about penciling on my iPad. Nudging that eyeball over just a touch. A twitch. Yeah, I know that feeling, Rudak. I um, there's so many good books that I've discovered just from the library. I actually, like, got into Jack Kirby because of my local library. I wasn't super into his his stuff until uh, I started checking out his um, Fantastic Four collections at the library. And then fell in love with his stuff. Bryce, yeah, this is um, this is a default brush called um, Design Pencil. It's um, well, I think I slightly tweaked the pressure sensitivity on it, but um, but it's basically a default brush. It's really good. Oh, you know what? And I um, increased the tilt, so it goes from doing like thin lines to really thick lines when you tilt your pencil. And I love that. Hey, thanks, Alex. I think he's pretty close. He's close enough for what I'm going for. Actually, I like the look I got for just about everybody here. Like, they don't feel exactly like the classic Warner Brothers, but they definitely feel right to me. I don't know. And I said this when I first got on, um, but it's worth saying for people who are just showing up. I'm going to do kind of a short stream today because I have some deadlines to get back to. Friggin' love how Fred wears an ascot. Such a swanky look for like a teenager.
Oh my gosh, Edie, they had heavy metal at your library? That's amazing. I am drawing in Clip Studio Pro Root Actor. I'm a, and I'm using my iPad. I think I might be drawing Fred a little bit thicker than he is in the cartoon. But I always feel like he had a jock vibe, like he needed to feel like he's one of those um, jocks that smoked a bunch of weed. So he hung out with Shaggy. I have a thought about using Procreate um, to do my work. I know a lot of people like um, Jason Sean Alexander is, I think, his name. <laughs> he um, he draws in uh, Procreate to great effect, but I just uh, that program just has never quite clicked with me. Like I really like how minimal it is. I would really wish I could get um, Clip Studio dialed, you know, dialed back just a little bit more, but um, Clip Studio just has everything I need. So it's hard to, it's hard to stop using it. Yeah. <laughs> Fred's first bong hit was probably like when he realized that he like was mad at his dad or something. That he that his dad forced him to go out for football was bullshit. I have a Wacom Cintiq too, but um, I hate drawing on it. Oh, you know, if people are interested too, this is this doesn't show up very big, very good on the stream. But I have a Sketchboard Pro set up, which is a pretty handy thing. It like it's like my iPad will stick in here. And it's got these feet that pop out the back. Very difficult to show, but it's got these feet. And it makes it nice because you can like draw out to the edge and have some place to rest your hand the whole time. Yeah, Root, Root Act, the Clip Studio is, um, it's got a much steeper learning curve, that's for sure. And it, um, but the real bummer, the, the biggest bummer about Clip Studio is just that it's a subscription model. You can't just buy it for the iPad. You can buy it for the PC or your Mac or whatever, but um, on the iPad, it's a subscription. But it is pretty cheap. I think it comes out to like, uh, I don't remember, like $24 a year or something like that. Yeah, when it's split up every month, it's it's not really noticeable. And Clip Studio, like for the PC, is like super cheap too. 
for like real professional software, it's like. I forget. You can get it on sale all the time for about 80 bucks. And since I work in it constantly, it is totally worth the money. Do you use it, ED? Do you use Clip Studio? How do you like it? Is it your favorite way to go or do you like to work uh, analog also? Love Fred. Fred's loafers too. Fantastic. <laughs> and blog and a and a blog and, and a blog <laughs> okay something is wrong with fred here i got the camera kind of at an angle so it's kind of weird to see but his butt is like problematic. That's what happens when you zoom in, man. There we go. It's better. A little cartoony still with his figure. These legs are like very short. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. Um, Pippi's, I'm sorry, I missed your thing. It can do vector and, um, and raster. Clip Studio does. It, um, what you do is you make a, how do you do this? You make a new layer, new layer, and you make a vector layer. And now, when you draw, even though it looks like a pencil, it's a vector. And I think, yeah, you can see you can grab this pencil line and redo it. I do not use this like ever, but I probably should figure out how to use it. It seems like there's some very good 
uh, uses for something like this, especially when doing like mechanical organic shapes, like um, cars and stuff. Seems like that would be a great tool. All right, and for a piece like this, I usually put each character on a new layer. And that really helps me to not fuck everything up. Illustrator still has, I mean, Illustrator is like basically only vector. Well, not only, but it's like focuses on vector. So that's like its main deal. Thanks, Pepe. Let's see if I can squeeze in a tiny bit of Velma before I got a skedaddle. The iPad holder is called a Sketchboard Pro. I got it from a Kickstarter, but I'm pretty sure you can just order them nowadays. Oh my God. Everyone had a crush on Velma. She is absolutely the hottest Scooby-Doo character. And of course, Drag's Bugs Bunny is the sexiest Bugs Bunny character. <laughs> this is a safe space, ED. We can get horned up about our cartoon characters here. Okay, 
I am really sorry, everybody, but I have to call it quits for the night. I got bills to pay. But that was a nice little bit of progress on this guy. We'll just make sure we save. And then maybe this will be ready to start painting next weekend or next Friday. <laughs> At the art in the art room, everyone's just talking about their horny cartoon crushes. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for dropping by. I hope you all have a great weekend and a good night. And um, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Bye, everybody.